Hey boys, it's Arm9. Today, we're going to be going over what to buy and what not to buy this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, this update week is a little bit different compared to some usual update weeks. First of all, what we're going to be going over is how to make money this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, and this week we're lacking a little bit. However, we do have some cool things too. Starting off for double money and double RP this week, we have Cayo Perico races. Now these are brand new into Grand Theft Auto Online. They've added 10 of them and they're all played on Cayo Perico. So I'd recommend at least trying these out. And on double money and double IP, you're gonna get paid semi-decently. These are more for low level players to grind. I would suggest doing that this week uh, because the double RP is gonna help you and obviously the double money is also going to help you. However, that is not it for this update week. Now, if you guys have been sleeping under a rock for the past week or two, we do have a new feature within our CEO cargo warehouses. Now many of you, if not pretty much all of you, will know about this. Inside every single one of your CEO cargo warehouses, you will have a person standing inside of them. Now you can go up to this person and you can ask them to source special cargo for you. Now this week, the money that it costs is reduced by 50%. So normally it would cost 7,500, but now it only costs 3,750. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this woman to source me some cargo. Now she can get you one, two, or three crates. And in addition to this, she can actually get you special cargo. So things like the special watch and like there's some diamonds, stuff like that, that are worth like a ton of money. Now, normally this takes 48 minutes for the crates to show up in your cargo warehouses. However, for this week only in Grand Theft Auto Online, this time is also reduced by half. So every 24 minutes, they're gonna be able to go and source some new cargo for you. Meaning that you're gonna get twice as much product for half the cost. So it's a pretty good thing to have this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now this segues pretty hard into our discounts for the week, so let's get into those. So we're gonna go ahead and start off in the CEO office this week, guys. Now, technically, this is a discount, but it's also kind of an extra way to make money if you think about it. So within your CEO office, when you go to buy things, the cost is reduced by 50%. So for three crates, instead of 18,000, it's only 9,000 right now. For one crate, it's only $1,000 instead of 2,000. You get the idea. Now, in addition to this, we, of course, have CEO cargo warehouses on sale this week. These are 30% off this week, so now is a really good time to buy some of these. I'm going to be going and buying some on my Out the Mud character because I'm going to grind this as much as I possibly can. There's a lot of passive sort of income that you can make this week and online, and I fully intend to use it. So if you don't have a CEO cargo warehouse, this is a really good week to get one. And with all the bonuses going on inside of them, you can probably make your money back for your initial purchase really, really easily, so long as you can spend a decent amount of time in game this week. So backing away from the computer into some further discounts this week. Heading straight into the Maze Bank Foreclosures website, we have bunkers for 40% off this week, which is a crazy discount. If you guys don't have a bunker already, it's one of the best businesses in the entire game. I personally love my bunker. I use it more than probably any other business in the entire game, and it's made me over $50 million just on my PC account. So that's absolutely crazy. The bunker is definitely a business that you're gonna wanna own. Uh, as far as location goes, I'd recommend if you don't have one, get the Chumash Bunker. It's really close to the city. As you guys can see, it's literally closer than any of the other bunkers to the city. And this week, it's only 990000 So it's really, really cheap. I would absolutely avoid the Polito Forest Bunker at all costs. It's way too far away. And the one over here, the Grapeseed one and the uh, Rotten Canyon, they're also really far away. Definitely get the Chumash Bunker, I would say. And if you really want to go all out, get the Farmhouse Bunker, but it's really not going to give you much advantage over the Chumash Bunker, in my opinion, at least. Definitely pick up the Chumash Bunker if you don't have one already. If you have any of the other bunkers in the northern part of the map, I'd say switch to Chumash or the Farmhouse. And now it's time to get into some vehicle discounts. So on Legendary Motorsport, we're going to start off here. We first have the Ocelot Penetrator on sale this week. This car is not very notable in any sort of sense. It's in the supercars category, but it's probably not going to help you win any races. It is relatively slow compared to the other supercars in the game now. So unless you like it for its looks, probably one you might want to avoid. Up next, we have the Fister 811. This is one of the highest top speed cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. Top speed is like 133 miles per hour, which is pretty quick. So it can help you get around pretty quickly, but for racing, it's not exactly the best car unless you're on a track with insanely long straightaways. And even then, it's gonna suffer pretty hard in the corners. 
but it is 50% off, which is pretty crazy. So if you do want an 811 now is definitely the time to buy one. That's the biggest discount this car has literally ever seen. Next up, we have the Vapid FMJ. This car is, again, not really notable in any way. It's based off of a Ford GT. So if you're a big fan of the Ford GT, I'd say this might be a car you want to pick up. It's 40% off, which is a pretty big discount. But again, not exactly a super notable car. And then, of course, we have the Progen T20 for 30% off this week. This is probably the best out of the supercars that are on sale this week. It's also the most expensive. Um, it's definitely the coolest, though, in my opinion, as well. Uh, the T20. It's a great supercar. It's got an active rear spoiler, which is really cool. It's based off of the McLaren P1. Overall, pretty fantastic car. It's all wheel drive. I mean, it's good. It's probably not going to win you any races, but it is still a good car. And last but not least for the two-door section, we have the Grotti Carbon is there for 60% off this week. 60% off. So if, you, if you've never owned a Carbon is there, now is by far the time to get it. The Carbon is there. One of the best cars for under $200,000 in Grand Theft Auto Online, period. One of the best bang for your buck cars. And for 60% off, you absolutely cannot go wrong. This thing literally costs less right now than a Benefactor Schwarzer or an Ubermacht Oracle. So pick up a Carbon is there. I urge you to. It is a great vehicle. Next up under the four doors, we have the Enos Windsor Drop on sale this week. It's a very luxurious Rolls Royce vehicle. It's uh, It's got a drop top, obviously. It's called the Windsor Drop. Uh, so it is a huge convertible. Um, it's kind of a land yacht, to be honest. It is extremely long. It doesn't do anything notably well other than just like look like a Rolls Royce and be like really luxurious. So if you're into that, it's a good car for you to pick up. I believe it's 40% off this week as well. We, of course, also have the Enos Cognoscenti on sale this week. Now, there is an armored version of this as well. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, it can take one rocket before it blows up. And it says it's discounted, but it's actually not. So not quite sure about this however the regular version is definitely discounted um, it's a pretty cool car i'd recommend getting the 55 over the regular cognoscenti but i am personally biased there so i guess i guess that's that we also have the enos super diamond on sale this week for 50 percent off which is the biggest discount this car has ever seen as well um, it's a really good car it's a fun one to drift actually surprisingly uh, so maybe check that out if you're into it Moving on to the Arena War website, we have the Apocalypse Imperator on sale. It's been forever since we've had an Arena War vehicle on sale. The Imperator, probably one of my favorite Arena War vehicles. This thing looks really cool when it's clean, so you can, I think, make it clean if you buy it as the Apocalypse. However, don't hold me to that. I'm actually not 100% sure, uh, but it is, it is a pretty good car. But for $1.4 million, I'd say probably you might want to avoid it. There's some better things this week, like a bunker if you don't have one of those, or more CEO cargo warehouses. I would definitely go for those instead of this. And on Benny's, last but not least, we have the Progen Itali GTB on sale for, I believe, 30% off. Uh, the GTB is not exactly a super fantastic car, but it's not the worst either. Um, I don't mind it. I am a fan of this car. Probably could be a little bit better. Um, for 830 grand though, you kind of can't go wrong. It's probably better than any of the other supercars that are on sale this week uh, as far as performance goes. So if you're looking for a discounted performance car, the Italia GTB is your best bet this week. However, I don't necessarily recommend it. And of course, before I forget, the Declassi Draugr is in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now this thing just got released today with the update week. It's actually a super fantastic car. I've done a customization and review on it. If you guys are interested, go check that out. This thing is actually, it's the real deal. I think it might be the new fastest off-road vehicle in the entire game, with four wheels at least. Uh, it's still not going to beat a BF400 or a BF Sanchez. Sorry, a Meibatsu Sanchez, that is. But as far as four-wheeled off-road vehicles go, I think this is the new king of the category. So definitely give this thing a shot. As far as the podium vehicle goes this week within the casino, we of course have the Ubermacht Cypher. This thing is a fantastic car. I would 100% try to win this thing. If you got to do some sort of glitch to get this, I would, I would do it. This car is really, really good. It actually just got a slight buff with the Criminal Enterprises DLC as well. So it's a little bit faster than it was between the contract and this DLC coming out. Um, it's a little bit closer to where it once was after it got released with the two news DLC. Great car, definitely recommend trying to win it. Within the LS car meet, the prize ride is of course the Ocelot Swinger, and in order to win this thing, you're gonna have to place first for three days in a row. It is a really good car. Um, it's one of the top 10 fastest in the sports classics category, um, but it's probably not gonna win you any races. Still, very cool car though. 
There is another new feature in online this week. We have buried stashes that are now available in Grand Theft Auto Online. Somewhere on your map, a prompt will come up that you will be able to see. And if you go to it, it will apparently unlock a metal detector, which you will be able to use in order to find the buried stashes. So be on the lookout for that, I guess. Your time trials this week are, of course, Grove Street. This is a pretty easy one to do. Use the Hakuchu Drag if you have it, or another very fast vehicle, obviously. The RC Bandito time trial is Little Soul Park. And your HSW time trial is somewhere on the map. Unfortunately, I cannot show you because I am on PC. So that's it for the update week in Grand Theft Auto Online, guys. That is it for what you should buy and what you should avoid this week in online as well. If this video helped you out, a like is of course really appreciated. If not dislike, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.